In this video, I'm going to show you how to compare preview renders because when you're working in lighting and rendering, you're going to be using preview all the time. And quite often, you're going to want to compare renders um, if you've got a couple of different sort of variations on your lighting. It's very simple to do, so I'll just talk you through it now. So there's obviously the main preview window in the render tab, um, but if you want to add a second preview, it's very simple. The most obvious thing to do is to use the viewport below. So if you see at the end of the row of tabs, there's this little plus sign. If I click on the plus sign and go to application, I can select preview from the list and add a second preview window right below the top one. And the great thing about doing this is, of course, this preview can always be available. All you need to do is just to switch back to a different tab to disable the preview. But anytime you want to come back to it, you just click on the tab and there it is again. But you can go further than this if you like. I'll just pause this preview window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the top one. And if you go right in the top left corner of the preview viewport and right click, this gives you a menu. And if you select copy, this is going to float a copy of your preview. And uh, what you can do is then use the slash and burn menu to keep splitting this preview window up. So if you hold down control shift tilde, this brings up this uh, pie menu and you can simply split horizontal and that basically creates two previews and you can carry on going. So let's split this one uh, vertical. And let's split this one vertical as well. And then I can simply expand the whole thing and uh, let me just unpause all these windows. And you can see that suddenly I've now got four preview windows that I can compare to each other. So if I just pause um, all of them to start with, I can then go and make changes to my scene. So for example, if I go to the physical sun and let's make a big change to the time and I'll just unpause one of the previews and you can see it's, I've got point of comparison. I'll just pause that again. And this time I'll change the time back, but let's say I'm going to change the uh, north offset. I can see where that is. Let's um, go to say 90 and then I'll unpause this preview and then pause that again. And then once again, I'm going to just let's change the time to say 11 a.m. and unpause this one. And you can see that it's a very effective way of working. If you need to make some subtle changes uh, to your lighting, but you want to compare different versions of your setup as you go along, this is really effective. And as you can see, it's really quick to set up. And once you're finished with it, you simply close the window and you're done.